Okay, so this is question four. Uh, the matrix A is given by A. Uh, there you can see the matrix. Uh, and we're asked to show that the determinant is that particular value. Um, it's clever here, isn't it? Because they, they've made sure that we can't, uh, in this question, just put it into our calculator because of that. Uh, it not all being numbers. We've got A in there as well. So we're going to work it out. I, um, there's also, there's no zeros in any of the rows. So I, what am I doing, going to do? I'll choose the top row. So we're going to do two times uh, that uh, matrix down at the bottom. And then it's a minus 1 times 1, 1, 2a plus 2 times, uh, remember what we're doing here is we are, we're, um, we're thinking of the 2 and that gives us that matrix down there uh, as the one that we're looking at. So that is 2 minus 1, sorry, 1 minus 1, 2, 2. Uh, okay, now we need to work that out. So that's 2 times minus a take away 2, take away 1 times a minus 2 plus 2 times 2 minus minus 2, which gives us minus 2a minus 4 minus a plus 2. Uh, and what have we got in there? 2 plus 2 would be 4 plus 2 is 8. Uh, so collecting terms together, we have to show all this working out, of course, because it was a show that question, wasn't it? So we need to make sure we show all the steps. Uh, we have got 8, take away 4, plus 2 is 6, and minus 2a, minus another 8, so minus 3a, and that is what we were looking for in the question. Uh, state the value of a for which a is singular. We know that if a is singular, that means that the determinant of a is 0, so we want 6 minus 3a to be 0. So a equals 2. One mark for just the answer a equals 2 in that one. And part 3. Uh, given that a is non-singular, find the inverse in terms of a. Again, they've been, they've been smart. We can't use our calculator. Uh, the determinant of a we've already established is 6 minus 3a. So uh, now we need to um, work our way through this. We'll work out, let's do the matrix of minor determinants first. Uh, so that is uh, what we've got there. We've got minus a, take away 2. We've then got uh, a, so this is a, take away 2. So we put a, take away 2 in there as well. Oh, hang on. Uh, and then... 2 minus minus 2, so that gives us 4. The next row, we've got 1a take away 4. In the middle there, we've got 2a take away 4. And uh, at the end, we've got 2, 2 is a 4, take away 2 is 2. And the bottom row, we're going to have two lots of 1 minus minus 2, that's 3. We're going to have uh, 2, take away 2, that gives me a nice 0, and finally we've got uh, minus 2, take away another 1, is negative 3. Okay, now we need to adjust the signs. Uh, remember we're using, uh, when we think about adjusting the signs, we've got a plus, minus, plus, we've got that pattern going on all the way through the matrix. So let's... Um, Let's sort out the signs before we do the transpose. Uh, this is going to give us uh, what we've got a plus 2, 2 minus a. Oh, hang on. I'm changing everything. Be careful. So the first one doesn't change, does it? It's still minus a minus 2. That one does change, so 2 minus a. 4 doesn't change. Next one changes, 4 minus a. That one stays the same. A minus 2 at the end bottom row, that doesn't change, the 0 will become minus 0, then we've got minus 3, and finally we've got the transpose, uh, and we need to divide by the determinant, so the inverse of a is 1 over 6 minus 3a, and if we transpose this, that is minus a minus 2, 
2 minus a, 4, that's the top row becomes the first column. 4 minus a, 2a minus 4, minus 2. And finally, 3, 0, negative 3. And that was the end. So you don't need to do anything other than leave 6 minus 3a in front of the uh, matrix. There we go. And that's maths.